All right, we want to take you back to the Council on American Islamic Relations, where a news conference is getting underway. Let's go ahead and listen in. For our press conference to talk about the tragedy that's been unfolding in San Bernardino um, and with the suspect's name just released, Sayed Farouk, um, we will be offering our condolences and talking a little bit more about the situation uh, from CARE LA, uh, as well as interfaith leaders uh, offering our you know, solidarity and our remorse for everything that's been ongoing, uh, as well as some leaders from our Muslim community and a relative of the suspect. Um, so I would like to introduce first our Kerala Executive Director, Hussam Elush. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Hussam Elush. It's H-U-S-S-A-M, as in Mary. Last name is Elush, A Y. L-O-U-S-H, and I'm the Executive Director of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations uh, for the Greater Los Angeles Area. On behalf of the American Muslim community, and especially the Southern California Muslim community, on behalf of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, we unequivocally condemn the horrific act that happened today. And we stand in solidarity with fellow Americans as we offer our condolences, our heartfelt prayers and condolences uh, to the injured, to the families of those who have been killed. We stand in solidarity in repudiating any possible ideology or mindset that could have led to such horrific act. There is absolutely nothing that could justify. In, in, we stand in mourning, in sadness for what happened, and we pray for the quick recovery of those who were injured. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hussam. Next, I would like to invite the religious director of the Islamic Society of Orange County, uh, Dr. Muzammal Siddiqui. Good evening. My name is Muzammal Siddiqui. I'm uh, the religious director of the Islamic Society of Orange County and the chairman of the Shura Council of Southern California. Shura Council represents most of the mosques of Southern California from, San Bernard, from uh, uh, Santa Barbara to San Diego. On behalf of our communities, I want to express our sadness and sorrow on this uh, tragedy that happened in San Bernardino. Our hearts go to the victims and their families and the people who are injured. We pray to God to bless them and to give comfort to the people who are in difficulty at this time. We are with them. We are in solidarity with them. And also, I want to condemn this uh, action, this action of violence, which is uh, horrible violence. We have condemned all violence everywhere because human life is precious, and we respect and honor the human life. Uh, we would like to see that our law enforcement will take uh, full investigation and find out the motives and the people behind that, and uh, they, will, they should be brought to justice. Uh, that is what we expect, and we hope it will happen. And at the same time, I would urge everyone to please do not implicate Islam or Muslims, because what, whosoever has done that, our faith has nothing to do with that. Our faith is against this kind of behavior. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Siddiqui. Next, I would like to bring up the... Oh, can you spell your name, please? Muzammil Siddiqui, M-U-Z-A-M-M-I-L. Siddiqui, S-I-D-D-I-Q-I. Next, we would like to bring up the brother-in-law of the suspect, uh, Farhan Khan, to give a few remarks. Oh, my name is Farhan. It's F-A-R-H-A-N. My last name is Khan, K-H-A-N. And I, I just cannot express that how sad I am for, you know, what happened today. I mean, I, I condolence to, you know, the people who lost their life. I am very sad that you know people lost their life and there's victims out there um i i wish speed recovery to them and again i, I'm, I am in shock that something like this could happen um that's that's all i have i, I hope everybody uh understand and you know everybody get recovered much faster whatever the victims are there 
Thanks. 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 Um, are you saying he's a religious person? I mean, you know, I, I, there's no comment. I mean, investigation is going on. I, you would know what it is. I, I have no idea. I have no idea have why would he do that? Why would he do something like this? I have absolutely no idea. I'm in shock myself. A normal person. I, I had a chance to speak uh, with Mr. Khan before, and he truly doesn't feel he's informed enough, or anyone is informed enough, to comment. Because we don't know the motives. Is it work, rage related? Is it mental illness? Is it extreme ideology? At this point, it's really unknown to us, and it's uh, too soon for us to speculate. And he feels comfortable sticking to his. his he, he, ch he chose to be here to share his family's feelings, sadness, and sorrow, as all Americans are tonight and today. So let's keep it that way for the time being until more information is available. And he promised. To, to be as available as necessary as more information is available. So thank you for Can respecting Khan his choice at this point. Can Mr. Just Khan just tell us what kind of guy he was? What, what, what kind of person family? was he? I, I, I ask, and truly he feels at this point he, he'd rather stick to that comment just for the interest of the investigation. To be fair, we, we really want to get to the bottom of it. We, we don't want to undermine the efforts of law enforcement at this point by making any comment that could mislead uh, the, the investigators or law enforcement, that would be a great disservice done to the victims and their families. So let's respect that for the time being, and we appreciate that from your end. Is, 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 your, is, your, is your brother in law's wife the, the woman who was the, the second the suspect? Can you, can you, can Tatiana, or can anyone comment on the relationship between the two? I mean, I think at this point, I don't want to say anything. He hasn't been informed. He doesn't know who, who, who has been shot. The reason I'm here is, you know, I just wanted to say that I am truly. The reason I'm here is, you know, is to talk to the victims and to express my family that how sad they are of what happened. Realistically, I mean, you know, that's why I'm here. Uh, I mean, just don't ask me the, how what he is, what he was doing, how he is. I mean, I don't want to get into all this, please. Did the rest of the family ask you to come? Sorry? Did the rest of the family ask you to come to be the spokesperson? Yes. Do they have children together? Uh, if it's okay, at this point, I will request if we can just hold off of those questions um, after the conference. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, next, we will have Reverend Sarah. Um, He's the brother-in-law. He's the brother-in-law. So his sister is going to be the The suspect's sister is his wife. The suspect's sister. Oh. No. So the suspect sister is your wife. Okay. And what is the name of your wife? He doesn't wish to reveal that at this time. Um, if I can invite Reverend Sarah to come up next, please, to share a few words. <coughs> Reverend Dr. Sarah Halverson, S A R A H H A L V E R S O N dash Cano, C A N O, Halverson Cano. I'm here as a pastor in the Christian faith, and certainly for us in this time of Advent, we recognize the darkness in the world, and all of us have felt so much darkness today as we watch this unfold, this scary and frightening time in the life of the United States, but particularly for those of us here in Southern California. I stand today scared, as so many people do, but I also stand today with faith in my God and faith in the God that we all share together. So I want to simply stand here and ask that all of us take a time for prayer this evening to hold your family close and to remember that our Islamic brothers and sisters are not at fault here. This certainly is not about the Muslim faith. We stand together, Muslims, Christians, Jews, people of all faiths, knowing that when we come together, we can be the best that God has called us to be, so that we can serve our nation and our communities as best as we can. We join our Muslim brothers and sisters here at CARE, throughout Orange County, San Bernardino, Southern California, in prayer. Thank you.
Thank you, Reverend Sarah. Next, I would like to invite... All right, an interesting development there. Uh, that is the scene of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Uh, that person, that individual, identified himself as a brother in law of a suspect. His name, uh, this individual's name, Farhan Khan. And the suspect that has been named by CBS News is Syed Farooq. Now, what we heard from that individual at the news conference. Uh, he expressed his condolences to those who have lost loved ones. He wished a speedy recovery to the victims who were injured. Um, but he was asked there at the end, how, when was the last time you spoke uh, to the suspect? He said about a week ago. And when he was pressed further by reporters in the room, he basically said, I have no idea why he would do that. Why would he do something like this? And he described uh, his brother-in-law as a normal person. Uh, so that is the scene uh, as the investigation continues.